What is meditation? How do I do it? Meditation is the process of learning the scripture in such a personal way. It becomes a part of you. It involves thinking and rethinking its thought until it becomes your thought. Welcome to my channel, Els Ancheta Vlog! Today guys, aking ibahagi ang aking meditation. What is meditation? How do I do it? To God be all the glory and honor. Amen. Ang una ko pong ginagawa sa aking meditation o Bible verses memorization ay ang number one, memorize. Number two, visualize. Number three, pray. Number four, personalize. So, mauuna po tayo sa memorize. I-memorize po natin ang Matthew chapter 6 verse 30 to 34. Wherefore, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he much more value than they, O ye of little faith. So take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, nor whether shall we be clothed? For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. So take no thought, saying, Huwag tayong mag-alala kung ano man ang ating iinumin, ang ating kakainin, ang ating isusuotin, dahil alam na ng Diyos, kung ano ang ating kailangan. But seek ye first the kingdom of God in His righteousness in all these things shall be added unto you. Pero, ngunit, saliksikin muna natin, hanapin muna natin ang kanyang kaharian at ang kanyang katwiran at ang lahat ng bagay ay idaragdag sa iyo. So, huwag tayong mag-alala. So don't worry about tomorrow, let tomorrow worry about itself. Sufficient of each day has its own trouble. Next, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate. O ito na po, meditate. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe according to do what is written therein. For then, thou shall make thy way prosperous, for then, thou shall have good success. So, gustong-gusto natin itong prosperous at saka success, di po ba? Magiging prosperous po tayo, magiging successful, successful po tayo kung nag-meditate po tayo ng mga salita ng Panginoon. Pero, pero may dahilan, may dahilan. Nasa tao ang gawa, nasa Diyos ang awa, di ba? Di po ba? So, kailangan din nating maging tapat sa ating mga amo. Halimbawa, ng uh, katulong ka lang o trabahador ka lang, ganyan. Maging tapat po tayo. Maging loyal po tayo. Okay. So, ang pangatlong verses na aking ibabahagi ay ang Psalm chapter 1, verse 1, 2, 3. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinner, nor seated in the seat of his scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. Ang kanyang kagalakan ay nasa batas ng Panginoon. But his, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law that he meditate day and night. So nagme-meditate po siya ng araw, sa araw at gabi. That he meditate day and night, and he shall like a tree. That planted in the rivers of water, bring forth his fruit in his season, and his leaf shall not also weather. In whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. So, kahit ano po yung ginagawa ng isang tao, ay nagpra-prosper po siya. So next, na memory natin ay ang Psalm 23. Ito po yung pinaka-paborito ko pong verse. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He maketh me lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of his righteousness in his namesake. Yet do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thy art with me, thy rod and thy stop, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest me with oil and my cup running over. Surely 
goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So, ito po yung mga memorization ko o mga scripture na aking i-memorize o i-code sa inyo at ang visualize yung pag-picture o pag-imagine po natin ng mga nilalaman ng ating uh, piniling mga verses. At yung pangatlo ay pray. Halimbawa, nag, uh, nag-memorize po tayo, nandun na rin yung pray. Halimbawa, yung Psalm, Psalm chapter uh, 17, 8, ang sabi dito, Keep me as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Ang ganda po itong verse na ito. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Kung baga sa Ilocano, ay gustong gusto ko ito. Sa Ilocano. Itutok mo tamatam kada kami. Kitsalukuban na kami kadi apo tapayak mo. So, pasensya na po sa mga Tagalog. Hindi <laughs> nakakaintindi ng Ilocano. But I try to tell it in Tagalog. Lord, ito to uh, panatilihin mo ang iyong mata sa amin at ang iyong mga pakpak ay gawin mong uh, payong o gawin mong panlilim sa amin. Ganon yun yung ipipicture natin yung yung verse na yon, di ba? Ang ganda po. Kaya kapag nagme-meditate po tayo ng mga verses Ah, uh, ini-imagine natin yung yung mga sina, sinasabi ng verses o yung scripture. Nandoon yung memorization, nandoon yung visualize, nandoon yung pray at yung personalize. Yung personalize halimbawa po yung sa Mark chapter 11 verse 24. Ang sabi dito, ang sabi dito, mm, whatsoever things you decide when you pray, believe that you receive them and you help you you will have them kung mananalangin ka kung anuman kung halimbawa anuman yung gusto mo kung mananalangin ka dapat alam mo na ito ay tatanggapin mo na at ito ay magkakaroon ka na nito pero kung i-personalize mo nito ikaw mismo yung parang ikaw mismo yung magsasabi na Whatsoever things, whatsoever things, I will desire. Yun. I, gagamitin natin yung I kasi personalized na po yun. Gagamitin natin yung I instead of you. So, whatsoever thing I desire, when I pray, I believe that I must receive them and I will help them. So, yun po yung personalized. Glory to God. To God be all the glory and honor. Meditation involves the mind. If we are to think God's thought, we must understand His way of thinking. The best way to do this is to memorize and put to memory selected section of scripture. The very fact that many verses are hard to understand illustrates the truth of Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8 to 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heaven are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. In meditation, we bridge the cup between the mind of God and mind of man. Once you have memorized your scripture selection, you're ready to the next step. Visualize the scripture. Try to get a mental picture of its important word in the verse. Expand the meaning of its keyword by picturing it in your mind. To help you get clearer picture, use reference book. Several helps can be used to expand keywords. A concordance will refer to other verses in which the same word is mentioned. An expository dictionary will express the meaning of the word as used in original languages. 
The dictionary gives a full meaning of the English word. You will be amazed at how much you miss just by depending on your own interpretation. Now, you have a much better idea of what God was really saying. After you know that God is really saying in a verse, you will be much better equipped to pray and that introduce the next step. Now, you should begin to pray the scripture back to God. How is that accomplished? Personalize the scripture. You have memorized. God delights to hear his own word, particularly when his children are using it to express their own desires and emotion. Turn the scripture into a personal prayer or response to the Lord. Personalize. By changing pronouns of you, his, and they, to I, me, or my, and me, in this way, the verse become a personal expression to God of your inward thoughts and feelings. This process is, is, is illustrated in the following scripture, like for example, in Mark chapter 11, verse 24, say it, it quotes like this, What things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. So, if I will personalize Mark 11, 24, What things soever I desire when I pray, if I believe that I will receive them, then I shall have them so i put i instead of you because i personalize the verses that i am the one that is in the code what things soever i decide when i pray if i believe that i'll receive them then i shall have them this is personalized but if not personalized, this is what's saying. What things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will, shall have them. The Psalms of the David express a wide variety of emotion to fit every human need. Many sections in Psalms are, are already written in the first person. They automatically help us express our feeling and prayer. This process con constitutes meditation. If you follow this four step, all the riches of heaven will be at your disposal. The fourth step is visualize, memorize, pray, and personalize. I'll send you the blog. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. See you soon in my next video. God bless you all.